So for this tutorial, we're going to be using this purple duchess fabric and this is all we'll be needing to take the measurements and cut out what we'll be needing. We have the wrong side and the right side of the fabric. I'm going to be cutting this fabric into two equal halves, one for the front and one for the back. How I'm going to be determining how to cut it is to take um my back measurement divided by two and then the sleeve length of my choice, where I want the sleeve to reach, I will add that two measurements together and that's how I'm going to be dividing this fabric into two. And whatever we have is what we're going to be using for the back and the front. After putting the two measurements together, I was able to get about um, 25 inches. So at 25, I'm going to be cutting the fabric into two. I'm going to just bend or fold it into two. Just the way you see me doing it right now i'll just fold it into and then cut it straight down to have those two equal halves <music> I'm done cutting the fabrics this is the first half which we're going to be using for the back measurement i'm just pinning it down to keep it in place so drafting the back we're going to first of all make a straight line which is around the shoulder area after making this straight line just follow up as um, everything that you see here to just get it in a simple form we're just going to make this straight line so lovely, this area I'm using for cutting is not that wide. I want you all to bear with me and just follow up. I'm trying to fix it in place within the frame of the camera so you all can see it. So after we've pinned it down, we've done the shoulder line, that's the up line, we've made that straight line. What you would just do now is to mark the shoulder you divide by two. That is, you measure yourself your shoulder and then you divide it by two. That is the first measurement you are dropping on that straight line. After that, the length of the sleeve, how lengthy do you want the sleeve to be? You measure yourself and then you put the full length of the sleeve. You are not dividing this by two or by four. You are adding the full length of the sleeve. As you see me doing it on my fabric, I'm just trying to bring the fabric into focus so you can see where I am marking it. That is the sleeve length that I want, which is 16 inches. So from there, we're going to be moving to the center back where we're going to be taking the width of the neck measurement. I'm going to be going in by two and a half inches. Then for the depth of the neck, we're going to mark about um, three inches. It depends on how wide you want it to be. But for me, for the width, I'm doing two and half and then for the depth it's about um three inches then i'll just make the cuff that is the round round neck cuff here right now and then that is our neckline after making the neckline this is the end of the sleeve line so we're going to be going down by we're going in by one inch because on the shoulder we have a slant we want it to have this slant on the shoulder so it's not just be straight the shoulder is not straight so we're giving it that slant by one inch mark from the shoulder line to the one inch we just made at the sleeve just now to give it a slope so just mark it straight with your ruler or you can use your free hand to mark it if you can get it to be straight and that is basically just it because that is where you are going to be cutting out so I'm going to be marking the um, width of the sleeve, how big you want it to be. So I'm, I'm marking it at 12 inches. And then from there, we're going to be getting our bust line from your shoulder to where your bust is. You measure it and that will be your bust line. For me, I'm marking um, at 10 inches. Then from there, that is where your bust line is. You just make a straight line across, like make a straight line. 
so you can identify that area as your bust line then from there um, i'm just making it to be straight just as, as i just said i just need it to be straight and clear enough so i can easily identify it as my bust line so i'm going to be dividing my bust my actual bust by four so you divide your bust by four and then you place that measurement on your fabric that's on the bust line that is here that is where you would place that measurements that you've made and you've divided by four don't forget you're dividing this particular one by four and that is what you are placing on the fabric i have about um eight and a half so i'm placing it on the fabric and then i will mark it at that point then from that point i'm going to be adding an extra four inches it depends on how big you want your booboo to be if you want it to be very big if you don't want it to to hold you tight by your bust angle or area you can just free it up it depends on you but for me i'm going to i added four inches after my actual bust line so that is the point you are seeing there and that is where i'm going to be curving where the armhole is going to curve it's not going to curve at the actual bust line because that will be too tight for a boo boo it's going to be curving at the four inches that i just added and that is what i'm doing i'm just trying to curve it and make the ham hole that's just it so you just curve it and then when you are making this curve you're going to take this line straight to the very end of the fabric that's the down part of the fabric you take it straight to the down part like i said earlier that this particular area i'm using to cut or major is too small so it's going to be a little bit of a struggle for me to keep moving the fabric up and down because i just need um i just need you all to see it and um, follow up so you would not make any mistake at all so i'm just trying to put the fabrics in place and drag it down to where it is supposed to be so you will see that i'm making this straight line straight to the end of the fabric and then for me i've already made all the measurements i've already made this um I've, this mark i've already taken it to the extreme end of the fabric for me although i have extra length i'm going to be adding that in this video we're going to get there i'm just telling you guys that we're going to get there so this is basically i'm just basically showing you everything that we've done from the beginning up until now then now i'm going to be making just like connecting the sleeve like the two points i'm just going to be connecting it with a meter rule you can connect it with a meter rule or you connect it with your free hand that is basically just what i'm just going to do and then i'm explaining everything that we've done from the beginning the bust when you're dividing it you divide it by four you add another four inches the four inches that you are adding is not constant you can always increase it you can always increase it and you can always decrease it it also depends on the size of the person that is wearing it and it also depends on the size of your bust so you can always increase and decrease nothing here is constant the only constant thing here is the measurement the numbers by which you are dividing the measurements which is dividing the bust by four that is non-negotiable it is constant so i'm just arranging all the fabrics and putting them in place because i've been moving them and the more you move fabrics you have to put them back in place because if you don't you're going to get the whole thing messed up so that's just it i'm going to be cutting it out guys so just watch and see how we make the cutting first i'm cutting the neckline then from there i'm going to be moving to the shoulder then from the shoulder i'm going straight down to the arm hole and i'm cutting straight down to the very end of the fabric so watch
after making the whole cut we are done with the back so now we're moving straight to the front remember all this um, fabrics are in full this is the second half of the fabric we actually cut out um in the beginning so this is for the back and um starting i'm as you see me doing or marking i'm marking about one and a half inch that is um where we're starting this particular measurement or where we're drafting the particular um, measurements for the front so i said it earlier that this particular fabric is in fold so um, i'm making this uh, measurement at the very tip that is where i folded the fabric not the opening part that's the part that is not open so i will just make this and this particular measurement is going to go straight down to the end of the fabric you're going to connect all this i'm going to connect all these points that i'm making to the very end of the fabric it is needed to get to the very end of the fabric so just watch basically that is what i am doing all through <music> placing the back pattern that we've already drafted out i'm going to be placing it carefully placed iron out the edges so it can easily align with the line we've already made if it, it can lap and align because we need it to be very placed like very well placed on that line that we've made on the front fabric so that is just what i'm doing arrange it align it that's why you even need to iron it so you can um, identify or easily and clearly see where you are supposed to place on the line and that is just it just place it on the line keep it in place if you cannot leave it without having to pin it down if you know it's going to move or you're going it's going to disrupt your work you pin it down for me in this video i'm going to be pinning the fabric together so i can easily work with it so arrange it properly make sure everything is aligning with themselves the fabric are in place and then you pin it down <music> tracing everything that is on the back pattern to the front except for the neckline i'm going to be tracing the shoulder line the arm hole and then that is it for the neckline we're going to have to make a little ma uh, measurement we'll get there for now i'm just tracing directly tracing the shoulder line the arm hole those are what we're going to be tracing for the rest of the measurement just that's um the the only measurement left would just be the the neckline and um, we're going to be tracing also we're going to be marking the width of the back neck just the depth of the back to and the front is what is going to have a little difference <music> exact point of the width of the neck from the back to the front that is just what we need from the back part and that's just what we need for the neckline so for the depth of the neckline we're going to be going in by four by three and a half inches three and a half inches it depends on how how um, deep you want your neckline to be if you want it to be very deep and down it's it's your choice for me i'm going in by three and a half that's how how deep i want it to be so i'll just connect it from the shoulder line to that area of the neckline just make it um if you cannot do the free sketch you can use um a curve a curve um instrument to just curve it around that area 
or you can just easily do it with your hand and curve it to get the round neck so that's basically what is going on here so that's what is happening i'm just going to trace it i'm just going to trace and curve it down to to the depth of the neckline that we've marked and um that's it cut out the armhole and then cut out the neckline also so just keep watching lovelies keep watching and i hope you're learning something from it I've taken out the armhole. I'm just um, properly marking the neckline. I'm also going to be taking out this back pattern. So I'm going to be left with just the front pattern. That is when I'm going to cut out the neckline. And I'm going to continue from there for this front pattern. So I'm just cutting out the neckline. Just trace out with your scissors and cut it out perfectly so it will be well placed on your neck when you're done sewing it down so after that i'm going to be opening this particular area of chalks remember i said earlier it is that part of the fabric you fold that is not open so just open it up from the neck to the end of the fabric keep going and open it up perfectly to the end of the fabric so this is the extra fabric i'm going to be adding to the length of the gown because i need an extra length for it to be very full and lengthy so that is why i'm adding this extra fabric you don't need to add extra fabric if you measure yourself with the tape rule and you have the actual length of what you need on your fabric on the measurements you've taken so far this is optional it is just for um people that need extra length in the booboo so i'm just showing you in case you would be needing to know or you'll be wanting to know and um that's just it you just add an extra inch plus the well, um, plus the stitch allowance because you're going to be folding the end of the fabric that's the end of the gown so you just add um, for me I may I am marking about seven inches because I needed like about um, five inches and then I'm going to be folding the two inches so that is just what I'm doing and then I'm going to cut it out and add up to the machine and sew it into the fabric both for the back and for the front and for the front i am still going to be doing exactly what i've done on the other fabric so far giving it that one and a half measurements in the front opening and all of that i'm still going to do for this extra fabric i'm adding to the length <music> on the front fabric from the neckline i'm going to go in that's for the opening on the neckline i'm going to be going in by five inches and then i'm marking it at that very point where the five inch is then measuring from the shoulder to determine where the slit is going to start from you place your meter your tape rule on the shoulder and then you measure the length or where you want it to start from for me i'm going to be marking 43 that is where i want my lead to start from so that is where i'm just going to to mark i'm just trying to place the fabric together to align with um, each other because they are just like falling apart so i'm going to place the material from the shoulder and mark 43 that is where I want the slit to start from. That is basically what I'm going to be marking. I marked the angle of the neck where I want an opening to be at the neckline. And that is where I added. For me, I marked five. So I'm going to add to the machine and stitch down 
between the two points from the neckline to the slit line that's what i'm going to be stitching so right here i've already done that i've stitched it out so i stitched from the point i marked at the neckline and from the point i marked where the slits will begin i am also going to be adding back to the machine again to add up the extra length so now we're going to iron it out you're ironing this extra um, allowance out it is inside of the front um, fabric it is inside so you iron it out you have to iron it so it will come out looking perfect and nice so that is what i am doing just showing you how i'm ironing mine and placing everything in order so after you've ironed everything out i'm going to be placing this in between the allowance as you see me doing right now this is called a hemi gum so i'm going to place it between the allowance and i'm going to use the iron to step on it the essence of using this hemi gum is to make the allowance lap with the fabric like you don't need to um tag it with your hand using like needle and thread and tag it that will come out rough like it will bring a rough work but with this it is going to come out perfect and nice like very very fine as you see in this video so you just place the emmy gum between the allowance and then you use your iron press it down and it comes to it instantly you don't even need you don't need um you don't need to struggle with it you don't even need anything just like no matter how hot the iron is you don't need to use a very high voltage just allow it to be hot to minima and then you place it on it and it instantly sticks to it so that is what we are using for this particular front line and I'm going to be doing this all from the start to the very end of the fabric. So you see, it sticks to it perfectly and it brings out this nice look. So I'm going to do it way to the very end of the fabric. See, this is what you have to do and it will come out nicely. So that is just it. Place it on the both sides don't forget you're placing it on the both side when you finish from this other side you move to the other side of it see how nicely it came out after i was done sticking the gum to the both side of the allowance so after that i'm going to be using this bias to pipe the neck line which we are yet to work on instead of folding it with the fabric which is going to bring us a rough work you are to use the bias to pipe it and you see how it came out so nice i've already done it already and this is how it looks what do you think tell me what you think do you like it this way because i'm loving what i'm seeing yeah so just use the bias it's quite easy to sew in and it will come out perfectly so this is just it now i'm going to be joining the shoulder line that is the both halves for the both halves i'm going to be joining the shoulder line putting both the front and the back together starting from the shoulder line i'm going to head back to the machine and sew down the both shoulder together the back and the front that is what i'm going to be doing next so i'm going to edit the machine and i'll be back so this is after i was done stitching the shoulders together see it is all coming together already we're already having something it's beautiful and then i'm going to turn it over to the wrong side of the fabric and i'm going to stitch all the way from the um armhole down to the very end of the fabric on the both sides of the fabric that is where we have to stitch and don't forget i have already folded the sleeve you can see it right there i folded the sleeve already 
it's just um the normal fold you don't need to do anything extra just fold it normally so i'm going to be stitching from the armhole the sleeve to the armhole then down to the very end of the fabric that is just what we have to do next <music> With this we're already coming to the end of the tutorial but before we go there is one last thing we need to do to this outfit to give it that chic and classic look so that is what we're going to be doing right now we're already done with everything on the body we've made everything that wants to make the sleeves the addition and everything just one last touch and that is what we're going to be doing right now turn your fabric over to the wrong side and let's get started so i'm going to be making two band and this band is very important for the next step of action we're about to take <laughs> so i'm using this um fabric it's just a pieces i'm just going to like you don't need to have a lot of fabrics to make the band no matter how small you have no matter how small the fabric it is okay so i've already cut out this fabric and then just make sure the only thing you need to focus on is to make sure that the fabric is long enough to go around your waist so this particular fabric you make a belt out of it i just make a band or a belt out of it and then we're going to be adding it to the fabric so let me show you where this is going to be to give us that snatched look at our waistline so that is what we're here for that is just the final touch we need to add to this beautiful piece and then we'll be done here so on how to determine where to attach this band place your tape rule from your shoulder and then measure your waistline you already know how to measure your waistline just place your your uh, tape rule I keep calling this meter rule. Pl your tape rule on the shoulder and then measure your waistline on the both sides of the outfit or, or the dress or the booboo. Just chalk it. Anyone you want to call it, but just do the right thing first before we we know the actual name. It's it's a booboo. <laughs> so from the shoulder, just uh, mark your waistline and then we're going to also be doing another measurement which is dividing your waist measurement by four so divide your waist measurement your actual waist measurement just take your waist measurement and then divide this by four using the meter rule it is very fast and easy so use your meter rule like you see me doing and then divide your waist measurement by four and place it on the waistline. I say it again, place your measurement on the waistline. That is your waist divided by four. Place it on the waistline and mark the very point that you've already, that is the very point that I've already measured or I've already divided. So that is where we're going to be placing our band. And this we're going to this band we're going to be placing is going to be just for the front. It is not addition of the back, it's just for the front. So I'm going to be using a pin to secure it before I take it over to the machine. So I'm going to be securing with the pin on just the front piece like it is going to just be on the front piece because it's going to be holding you towards the back you're not going to be snatching the back you're only snatching the front so this is just what i'm doing right now i'm going to use a pin to hold it down before i take it to the machine to sew i am just trying to show you so you would know what is happening here or how this is being done so just use a pin if you know you cannot just um sew it down like this on the machine is going to move and it's going to spoil what you're about to do here you just pin it down and it 
to rap, yeah. My little buddy, you ow, 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 ow. My little buddy, you ow, ow. Nobody call.